Right guys, welcome back to part two here at Songwell in Mallorca. Unbelievably good golf course so far on the front line. Absolutely loving it. 16 points recorded. Not quite as well as I've played in other courses on the island so far where I was playing some of the best golf I've ever played on this channel, really. Made possible by the fact that I've just been hitting lots of greens, the new Strix and Clubs are working wonders. Um, obviously, I'm not giving all the credit to them, I'm going to take some of that for myself. But uh, yeah, uh, not a disastrous score though, 16 points, considering I only hit one green in regulation on that front nine. So I do think if I get the irons back in order, start hitting a few more greens, I can definitely get to that 36 point barrier, which we all aim for when we're playing Stableford. So let me know in the comments section down below, what do you think I'm going to finish on? after 18 holes. Jump into the comment section and write your guesses down below. Can I hit that 36 point mark? Gonna have to hit 20 points on the back nine to get it. Anyway, let's jump into the back nine, show you guys what it's all about here at Sunwell, what you can expect if you're heading out to Mallorca on your next golf holiday. <laughs> yards left in here on the tent. Massive green again. The green complexes here at Songwal are impressive it has to be said. Got a pitching wedge. I need a good one of these. And that was a good one and it's all over it if it's the yardage. Again I've gone long hitting these clubs a little bit further than my old ones. Right, no shot here on the tent. So again, another example of what going long gets you at Songwell. I've got a downhill putt, lots of swing. Can I kick off part two and the back nine with a birdie? No is the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> Can casually tap it in for a par though to kick off part two. With two points, bring me to 18. Come on, where's the next shot hole? Can I par it or can I squeeze a birdie out somewhere and get a three or a four pointer, which I desperately need at some point to get back to that 36 point target. So a little bit of history about how Songwal came to be. Basically, a guy called Adam Palmer, who made big bucks in the double glazing industry of all things, uh, bought a holiday home in Mallorca. Don't blame him, it's mid-November and it's a gorgeous sunny day. Um, over 300 days of sunshine here per year. Uh, so yeah, he bought a holiday home in Mallorca and basically grew a little bit frustrated about the quality of some of the other golf courses on the island, which I found quite surprising. The four courses I've played in my first two days here have been really impressive actually, it actually surprised me how good they are. Um, and the same continues here at Son Well, but I'm not surprised by that either, because basically this guy built this golf course as a result of not really enjoying the other ones on the island. His own private golf course and 30 million euros later, this is the result. Absolutely fantastic course, loving it so far. Uh, 10 holes in, as I said at the start of the video, they are doing a little bit of work on the greens at the moment, but the putting quality has been absolutely fantastic. There's nothing wrong with them. The tees are in immaculate condition. The course itself is set in one of the most stunning locations I've seen in Mallorca so far. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Adam, good job, bruh. I have to say, switching drivers after the last couple of years where I've been hitting my old one so well, or relatively so well, I was slightly nervous, but the Strixon ZX5 working wonders so far. Maybe it is down to me. Gorgeous little green, framed by a big water hazard on the right. Uh, 165 yards, got a seven iron. It's too much club, but Obviously, I don't want to be messing around with the front of the screen. With that water there. So, back half the green I'll be happy with. And I'm guessing I'll be facing another downhill putt if I get there. Right. 
bit of that long way right, but thankfully I've taken the seven iron. It was enough club to get over on that line because a bit nervous about that one. But I do think I'm either just short on the fringe on the right hand side or I'm long way right of pin on the green itself. Right, disappointing bogey there on a shot hole. That's the opportunity I was looking for. Only a seven iron out in the middle of the fairway on the green and two putts. Would have been that three pointer I'm chasing, but two points, two points to kick things off. Certainly not the end of the world to start the back nine. Really good hit by a good fairway bunker. Smash driver, probably the best striker of the day. Right out of the middle, nice strong forward flight. I reckon I could have got there in two had they been in the fairway, but now I'm playing out the sand. Right, just less than 120 left in, so a little wedge. Do you need to be mindful of the fact that the water is there on the left, so right the pin would be sensible. It's there basically. Pin eye about 20 feet, I reckon. And it's not just my word you should be taking when it comes to how good the golf at Songwal actually is. You guys, your Golf Travel customers, have rated this venue 8.8 .8 out of 10 from your customer reviews. So not just me who loves the place, you guys obviously like it too, and for lots of obvious reasons. Obviously the weather in York is fantastic and I genuinely think, having played a handful of the other top ranked courses on the island, that this is just kind of head and shoulders above. It's a different level, it's fantastic. Um, it arguably could be one of my favourite courses that I've played in 2021 and we're only 13 holes in. So stay tuned, see what the rest of this course has to offer because I've heard it's got two of the most dramatic finishing holes in golf. So how am I going to cope with those? Not sure, but at least they'll look good on camera, right? <laughs> Par 4, 13, dog leg right. I think I can fly the bunkers up the right, guys, so I'm going to try and take this over them. See how I get on. I do run out of fairway if I think I go left, so... That is well hit and it's over the bunkers. Will it fly them? Go! It's bouncing. That's over them, boys and girls. <laughs> right, if it's okay with you guys and girls, I'm gonna call that drive absolute perfection. Took it over the line of the bunkers I was aiming at. It is as central in the fairway as you can get. I've got 123 left in, so similar shot to the last in terms of yardage, so I've got a little pitching wedge. 56 won't get there, a full one of these is too much, so bit more of a green like pin cut right in the middle of a massive green so straight at it hopefully like that be the yardage and that's good could be about 15 feet right at the pin very good shot if I don't say so myself two in a row See the importance of uh, greens in reg again. You start hitting greens, all of a sudden, two putt pars are so much less stressful trying to get it up and down constantly, especially out of those deep bunkers, which I found a lot of on the front nine. Um, so yeah, back to back greens in reg, back to back pars, good start to the back nine. No shot holes over the last couple, so hopefully one will come up soon. And inevitably, the greens in reg will go away as soon as one does pop up. And I'll make a bogey and get another two points instead of three. So to get an idea of how good Songual is, 
uh, in terms of golf course rankings. Um, not only is it arguably the best golf course in Mallorca, certainly in the top two that I've played, and it's right up there in the rankings too, kind of a head-to-head -head with Alcanada on that front. It's actually, when you look at Spain as a whole, which when you consider Spain, it's got some serious golf courses, Valderrama, Finca Courts, and La Reserva, Sota Grande, San Roque, PGA Catalunya, some serious big, big names in the golf course world. San Juan is actually ranked just outside the top 15 in all of Spain. So yeah, like I said, not only is it the best course, arguably, on this amazing island in the Balearic Islands, but it's right up there with the best golf courses in the country as a whole. So anyone looking for some real quality on a golf holiday, looking for something different, maybe you've done your fill of mainland Spain and you're looking to get away to one of the Balearic Islands, and New York in particular, the quality is definitely on offer out here. Dear. Um, I did clear them. I can confirm, unless my eyes deceive me, I did clear the bunkers. But I can show you when we get up there, that's not necessarily a good thing. Check this out. There we go. Uh, I've flown the bunkers by six inches. I think I actually pitched it around here on this hump, which just kicked straight left and somehow stayed out of the bunker. So I've got a funky little lie, got 105 ish yards. Um, Hopefully I won't fall into the bunker. Okay, not quite as bad as I thought it was off the tee. It's still just awkward as hell. Try and pump this up the right. It looks like missing the green left is not clever. Get out. Yeah. Now come back down the slope. It's actually a really good shot. Three greens in reg in a row, three two putt pars in a row. Some decent golf now coming out on the back nine. Don't think I played all that bad on the front nine to be honest with you, it's just that missing by fine margins on a dramatic course with such incredible bunkering and, and slopes and stuff around the greens, you just can't get away with it. Especially if your short game is as bad as mine. So, I'm gonna get a shot on this course at some point. I think I just looked at the scorecard, I get a shot on every hole over the last three. So while these are great solid holes to be having, it would be nice to get a three pointer at some point. Right, 160 yard par three, 15. I've got eight iron. Um, it's straight down, gentle little breeze. So I'm gonna aim middle of the green, Let's try and thump this club. I think seven's too much, as we found out earlier in the vid. No doubt on this strike, this one now. Anyway, couldn't see it down, but it was straight in the middle of the green. Good strike. Right guys, unfortunately I've had to skip the par 4 16th, which looked like a gorgeous downhill par 4. It was a shot hole as well, um, because I got let through, obviously trying to stay out of the way of paying visitors, and there were some greenkeepers working on the green as well. So I was waiting in the fairway, the guys were behind me, just a bit awkward. So I skipped through to the par 3 17th. 190 yard par 3, very dramatic, water right, massive deep bunkers, short and right of the green as well. So. Middle of the green, left side is the shot. What I like about this par three is that quite a lot of the par threes so far have been mid to short irons. This one's gonna require something more like a six or a five, maybe even a four, depending on the wind. So I'm liking the variety in length, just like you have on the par fours here at Songual. I'm also gonna to have to get to grips with how far I'm hitting my new irons, because that par three where I got let through initially, it's 160 yards to the pin, I've hit an eight iron. Five yards right of the pin, and it's gone long again. Um, obviously it was downwind tiny bit, but that's a big eight iron for me. Certainly further than I would have been hitting my old clubs. And it less just left me another one of those downhill chips with the green running away from me. So another drop shot there, unfortunately. But yeah, I need to start computing that maybe I'm now a club longer with the new irons. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to hit a six iron from 190, slightly downwind again, so that will help. This should usually be a shot where I'm reaching for five iron. Guarantee you this will be the first one for a while that I don't hit out of the middle and it won't get me now that I've had that little conversation with myself about how far these clubs are going. <laughs> I mean, that's comfortably pin high. Now feeding down, that's a good shot. That could be about 10, 15 feet, you know, for birdie. So there we have it, guys. That was a six iron from 190, slightly down breeze, not much wind out of here today. And it's pitched a couple of yards past pin high. So that's flown about one, nine, two. Definitely a club longer than my old club. So it just goes to show you what you can gain out of a custom fit. Um, so I'm looking forward to kind of getting home, maybe practicing with these new bats, seeing if I can build on this decent form that I've shown in Mallorca. I've actually really enjoyed playing some good golf this week and on what must be said, some really great courses. And then if you spin around again, just a gorgeous little spot on the course here at Songwell. Amazing par three, unbelievable backdrop. And it's November and that's very blue. So after the disappointment of the bogey back on 15 and then having to skip 16, can I roll in a two? With a shot, a little four-pointer, net hole in one, that would be cheeky. Oh yeah, not a bad effort. Right, very solid par there for me for three points. On to the 18th, final hole of the day, which makes me quite sad. I've really loved it here at Songbar. Right, that drive did not go very far at all. Don't know why really. Um, I've got over 300 yards in, uphill, water on the right. So this is now turned into a proper three shot. I'm just gonna hit like a six or a seven up there, try and leave it wedge in. See if we can finish the three points, the old fashioned boring way. Three shots into a par five green. Uh, that's as good as I can hit a four iron really. I draw up the middle. And straight at it, be on. Oh, it's big again. What is wrong with me? And just in case you're wondering, that was a rhetorical question. If anyone fancies being a smart ass and jumping into the comments to actually tell me what was wrong with me, that's a bit harsh. Um, but again, yeah, just gone long. Um, I was trying to figure out whether the clubs are actually longer than my old ones, or whether it's honestly been such a long time since I've hit a series of like flushed iron shots. Honestly, the last year and a half, two years has been a repeat pattern of me driving it really well for me, putting pretty decent, especially more recently, and just hitting such rank iron shots. Maybe I'm actually just unaware of how far my irons go when I do hit them properly, but definitely hitting these irons flush this week, which has been great, but just need to adjust to that yardage, because again, I've just flown that wedge straight over the top of pin. Obviously, I thought that was stiff, but I got another one of those chips with the green running away from me from behind. How many times have I done that today? You missed long and had these tricky chips back down the slope towards the pin. Um, fingers crossed I can get up and down, end with back-to-back -back three pointers, but regardless of whether I do or not, I mean, look where I am. I've had a pretty good day so far. So there we go guys, all done at Songwhal. What a golf course that is. I think that definitely sneaks into the category of must play. If you are coming to Mallorca for a golf holiday, there are so many benefits to that. Obviously, as you've seen in the videos from this series, this has to be on your list. About a 20 minute drive from Palma, where I've been staying for the week at the Melia Palma Marina Hotel, which has been a fantastic base, walking distance to and from restaurants and bars. The restaurant at the hotel is brilliant. The view from my room, by the way, to wake up to that every morning has been an absolute treat. So yeah, only 20 minute drive from there. And then from there, you've got easy access to lots of other really quality golf courses as well. Son Vida, Son Kent, Son Montaneer, so which we all saw yesterday. 
So yeah, Songwell, I mean, it is a must play. It's been my favorite course of the week here in Mallorca. I can see why you guys rate it 8.8 out, 8 .8 out of 10. I'd rate it slightly higher than that personally. And I would also love to see it in peak condition because I'm obviously here in November, gorgeous blue sunny skies obviously even though it is that time of the year but obviously this is the time of the year when they're going to be doing a bit of work on the golf course it will be end of season so we've had a lot of foot traffic over the last few months so I can only imagine how good this place is in prime condition because it's been really good today uh, despite the fact that it's low season so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this look around Sunwell I hope you guys have enjoyed the Mallorca series. Uh, it's come to an end, I'm gonna head off to the airport soon. If you have any questions about this amazing island, about coming to Mallorca for a golf holiday, make sure you jump into the comment section. If you want to contact me on email, it's raymondo at yourgolftravel.com. Let's get going overseas, golfers. Travel restrictions are easing. Time to start booking in some golf holidays, and I can think of no better place if you're looking for a European stay and play golf holiday than Mallorca. Thank you very much for having me, Mallorca. Uh, if any of you guys haven't already subscribed to the Your Golf Travel channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. It gives the channel a big help. See you later.